Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and today we are going to talk about a sunscreen. Yes, again, we are going to talk about a, a French a sunscreen. We're going to talk about one from uh, the company SVR. So it was uh, created by uh, Simone and Robert uh, Verre. And uh, so, yes, yeah, French brand. And uh, it is uh, one that uh, people have asked me to, to look at. So I thought, finally, I found it and uh, I will do uh, this review here. There is a, a little bit uh, to say about it when we just look at the front. Because um, down here it says uh, Ocean uh, Respect. If you can see that and uh, that is a uh, very well and uh, so on but what does it really mean is there a law that says that if you put that stamp on then you have to live up to a certain criteria and stuff like that well not as far as i have uh, seen but um, there is uh, something a little bit interesting about the ingredients list and uh, if we look at the ingredients list then we can see uh, on the outside there is uh, something in it that is called octinoxate and have we heard about that before? Yes, I think we have, or I have at least. And uh, I have heard it uh, in relation to Hawaii, because actually is it so that uh, in Hawaii, then the uh, octinoxate is uh, banned uh, in order to, uh, you're not allowed to, to sell it unless you have a, a prescription, then you can apparently buy it because if you have some very sensitive skin and so on. But in general, uh, it is a uh, ban from being uh, sold in Hawaii. And it is bad because it is a uh, thought that it will actually bleed uh, the coral so it is not good for the ocean so uh, when they say that it is an uh, ocean respect i'm not quite sure what they mean about it anyway if uh, we look uh, further into the uh, ingredients list then uh, we can see this is uh, mainly a uh, modern uh, sun filter so they are not uh, approved uh, by the fda but uh, it is uh, a mix of uh, old uh, sun filters and uh, the new ones so uh, octinoxate is an old one and uh, the other ones in it uh, like etinosorb s is uh, one of these uh, new ones and that uh, both uh, protect you from uh, UVB and uh, UVA uh, to a certain uh, degree. There is also a tulexuit uh, triazone in it and uh, that uh, protects you from uh, UVB, though that Tinosorb is also uh, protected from UVB, but it's uh, kind of like where does uh, these filters have their peak and, and so on. So that there is a little bit of uh, various uh, modern filters in here and there is uh, an old one uh, as well. So if we uh, look at it, that was just an unboxing if you missed it. So here we have a, a very orange uh, color or the tube is very orange and uh, this is very orange. Does that mean anything for the product itself? Well, let's have a little look because uh, we need uh, a lot of this stuff uh, to put on the face and we don't want it to, uh, to change the, the color of our face like com completely so that you are unrecognizable. Maybe some people like that, but uh, I don't like when I put something on and I feel like I cannot really recognize myself or I look in a way that I think people, when they look at me, they're thinking, what has he done? So we have a little uh, quick look and uh, here is a uh, one milliliter in here and we need a little bit more for my entire face and my neck. So uh, 1.25 milliliters. So that is a little bit more. So uh, here goes. Oops, uh, like that. This is maybe a little bit too much. That is uh, that is too much, I admit that. Uh, so we just take a, a little bit of this stuff uh, off. So maybe uh, something uh, more like uh, in this uh, caliber here. So yes, it does have a, a sort of a, an orange color and that uh, is not um, sort of a, any sort of a surprise really because when you look at in the ingredients list it, it does contain a beta carotene and uh, it does also contain a carrot uh, extract and if that wasn't enough also tinosorb s is a little bit yellow then they have actually added a, a red color so something called red six lake and uh, that is very very red so uh, in order to not make it too red they have actually also added a little bit uh, of another color so they added at the bottom of the ingredients list they added a um, iron oxide uh, yellow so uh, they have uh, this sort of a soap um, orangey uh, color but will it affect the way that you look i would say when i put it on my face it does change um, a little bit the way that i look and i really I, I can't see anything else it might be that other people don't really notice it if they have never seen me before but uh, I, I i do notice it so uh, let's have a go so we put it there on to I don't have any sort of a cream or lotions or potions uh, on my face today. So this is just, I cleaned uh, my face. So um, yeah, we put it on uh, like uh, this. 
does it have a sort of a smell? Yes, it does. It does actually have a very, in my opinion, overwhelmingly uh, strong perfume. It is very sort of um, mm, like a, here comes water, beach and sun and stuff like that. That sort of a usual um, sunscreen sort of a, I don't know, flowery sort of stuff so uh, yes uh, we mix it into the skin here and I don't have uh, as I said any sort of um, cream underneath so this will sink uh, more into my skin than if I had uh, a cream underneath so um, normally I would not uh, really uh, put uh, a cream underneath because um, then when you're using these uh, sunscreen it can just be way way too uh, oily so in order to get uh, all the uh, nice ingredients from uh, your normal uh, skincare then maybe go for uh, a serum uh, instead so at least uh, in the daytime so you can just uh, get all the good stuff from your serums and then uh, you can use uh, the uh, sunscreen uh, on top so this one here it is supposed to have sort of a blurring effect and it does contain a, a lot of um, dimeticone and uh, uh, silicones uh, in general of uh, various uh, sorts and I think that is uh, what gives this sort of uh, blurring or mattifying uh, effect. I will say now we just uh, put it uh, on top of my eyelids as well and uh, yes you should be careful with uh, putting a uh, sunscreen uh, on your eyelids and not too close to your eyes and all that sort of thing but people they want to know if it actually is uh, annoying uh, your eyes does it sting the eyes and i would say i have tried this uh, over the last week and i just tried it when i bought it as well so um i have tried it for a little while and uh, it does not annoy my eyes and um, it does stay very well put i must say that but uh, i think if you are using a cream underneath this amount here will be uh, a lot and actually this smell as well is something that you can just like whenever you move your head back and forth uh, during the day you can smell it and uh, I think that other people that comes in con into uh, contact with you they will definitely uh, notice uh, there is some sort of um, beet uh, smell going on. I'm not sure uh, if you can see it uh, on the camera in this sort of a light but uh, I feel that I'm starting to be uh, a little bit uh, orange uh, in uh, the skin. But when I used it uh, through uh, the whole day uh, several times, it did not annoy my eyes and it did not sort of uh, move. But I did feel when I touched my skin that there was some sort of um, something going on on my skin. So it didn't feel like uh, what I normally use that sinks better into my skin from uh, La Roche per se. Uh, but um, this, when I look uh, in the, the mirror here, I definitely, I can see that I get an, an orange uh, tint or hue to my skin um, and it has this sort of um, thick um, sort of um, like waxy sort of a beeswax or something like that as if I had put beeswax uh, on my skin and I would say it's kind of like it feels like that during the whole day um, but if you want something that uh, doesn't sting the eyes, then uh, this could be a good contender. But um, as I said, um, it does uh, it's not that good for the coral reef. So if you're going to, to the beach and the wear will be washed off, it is a, a waterproof uh, or water repellent uh, sunscreen as such. But uh, in the water, if you go to the beach, it will come off and that will um, help or it will damage uh, the, the, the coral so it will help in um, making it even worse so you really don't want to to do that so uh, if you are just using it uh, during the day then this amount here it was obviously a little bit uh, for my neck uh, as well so something down here there's a little bit more uh, in this uh, spoon here as well so down the neck I feel that um, it continues to have this sort of um, sticky uh, waxy sort of a feel on the skin and um yeah it is now it, it obviously it needs a little bit uh, of time in order to to sink properly into uh, to the skin but uh, when i used it uh, during uh, the week here then um i just felt that um, it has this sort of um, feeling of something of a thick layer on the skin um but it i mean as such it I was surprised that it did actually work uh, well on the skin. It stayed put and um, 
so sort of uh, did the job. Uh, they say, of course, that you need to uh, reapply this <laughs> during the day. So I could imagine that if you do that, you will have a very thick layer on your skin at the end of the day, or you have to go in and just take it away and so on. But that is, of course, a little bit uh, problematic if you have already put some makeup uh, on the top and uh, in general you have to be a little bit careful when you're putting makeup on top of uh, a sunscreen because if it contains something like a zinc oxide or maybe titanium dioxide then it can actually go in and break down uh, the sun filters uh, rather quickly and then obviously they don't last uh, that long as they are supposed to so um, yes in this product here Mainly uh, there are, um, well, the first ingredient that is an old-fashioned um, sun filter. But uh, the other ones, they are the modern ones and they do last uh, a whole lot longer than the old-fashioned ones. But still they say that you have to uh, reapply it uh, during the day. So uh, yes, I would say when you look at my skin, it wasn't very, very shiny before I put this stuff on. But uh, definitely this amount of sunscreen on a face uh, like mine, then normally it will be uh, a lot very much uh, shiny so you can see it has this sort of um, matte uh, effect and i think that is because of all the uh, silicones that are in the product various forms of a uh, silicone but um, it does uh, feel like you have a sort of a um, thick uh, layer and yes you can of course uh, go in and just uh, smear it out with your hands and then wipe your hands and then smear it a little bit more and wipe your hands again and in the end you will end up with not having much sunscreen on your face so that is not a good idea to do it uh, like that but uh, look wise i would say for me when i look in sunlight I look orange in my face so if you have a sort of um, more golden yellowish uh, tone to your skin it might not be a problem but as if, uh, for my very uh, fair skin it is definitely something that i can i can see so um yes for, for very pale skin i think um, it, it leaves you with a sort of a uh, orange uh, hue and that is not strange it kind of like looks a little bit like a carrot and uh, yes it does contain carrot extract so it is a uh, no wonder but um yes so uh, i would say will i buy it again no I will not buy this stuff again. Uh, it was good for the eyes and sort of it stays put, but um, it leaves this sort of thick, um, waxy sort of a coat. And the perfume is, uh, in my opinion, rather overwhelming. And I think uh, that a lot of people will find that it is a little bit uh, overwhelming, very like beach and sun and all that sort of thing. So if you're using it on a daily basis where you're not at the sun or at the beach and having uh, the sun and the water and all that, then uh, maybe it may be smell a little bit out of place so yes this is not something i'm going uh, to to buy again but i was surprised that it did work very well for the eyes it did not sting the eyes and it does leave the sort of a uh, mattified uh, look uh, on this skin but it is a little, little bit of a thick coat you can feel it all day so yes if you'd like to see more of this sort of videos please subscribe hit the bell and do other things you must do not to be notified when i upload more of this sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye